Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently the 9th of January, Sunday the 9th of January. It's about quarter past 11 at night. I'm still reading Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. I should probably finish that tomorrow, I would have thought. Um, then I'm going to read a couple of the Mr. Men books that I've got and then I'm going to read Self Publishing by Emma Rosen of Emma Rosen Books here on YouTube. Um, it is quite late so I'm not got a huge amount planned for the rest of the day. Tomorrow I have a catch up call with my counsellor and possibly some client calls, I can't remember. It's a busy few days for calls to be honest. Um, and that's where I'm at. Dane reads. Hello, I should probably turn the lights on. Oh, it is, um, what day is it? It's Wednesday, the 12th of January. Uh, it's 10, 10 p.m. Kind of nocturnal at the moment. Um, it's it's a weird one really. I sort of am and I'm sort of not. Uh, I've just been sleeping lots in general. I've not been feeling too good to be honest, um, like mental health wise, may, a little bit physically wise as well. I'm just a bit worn down. I don't think I've like got a cold or got COVID or anything like that. I'm just not feeling great. Um, in part because I'm just overwhelmed with so much work. Basically, like I took a lot of last week off um, and actually probably Monday of this week as well to finish my decorating. I've finished decorating inside the house now basically. I still need to, I need to paint the steps and I've got some paint that arrived today to whitewash outside as well and then I want to contact the guy who owns the land to see if I can paint the fences. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I do actually need to tidy. I haven't finished tidying since I did the decorating. Um, but yeah, so because I was doing that, I've kind of fallen behind with work work and now everybody wants stuff and they want it now and I'm so tired and it's just one of those, you know. But it is what it is. Um, reading wise, I finished reading Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. I ended up giving that a 4.5 out of 5. It was very good. Then I've read some Mr. Men books, so I'm going to go through those here. They're all by Roger Hargreaves, so I read Mr. Messy, Messing About in the Snow. Mr. Happy, Finds a Hobby. Um, Mr. Tickle in a Tangle, Mr. Topsy Turvy, The Round Way Wrong, and Mr. Funny upsets Mr. Mr. Fussy. So all of those were like a 4 out of 5, 3.5 out of 5 at the very least. There's another one down here. Uh, which one is this? Mr. Nosy and the Big Surprise. So I read all of those. Um, then I read Self Publishing by Emma Rosen. So this is Emma's new book, Emma of Booktube and Authortube fame. Um, pretty solid, I mean I guess actually I'd give it like a week, 4 out of 5, um, which is good though, that's still a pretty good rating, um, and um, yeah there was lots of stuff in there, I think it's a great guide if you're new to self publishing, I didn't really pick up that much that's new to me, but then I have self published a lot, uh, and as I say I thought it was actually pretty comprehensive, it's, it's the kind of thing that when I work with clients, um, who want to self-publish rather than me having to explain the whole process to them I can now just say read Emma's book so that's good um, and now I'm reading Local Haunts which is back over there which is edited by Regina St. Clair and it's the latest author tube slash horror tube slash book tube anthology um, I am enjoying it I don't think it's quite as good sorry I'm reading Serve Cold and I don't think it's quite as good as Local Haunts was um, but it's still up there um, and I don't think it's really fair to compare them anyway. Um, I think this probably might have benefited from one extra pass of editing because there have been about maybe three or four like typos slash mistakes I've spotted in it. Like one of them it said care instead of car for example so it's like it's easy to miss that. Like I know from my own experience of proofreading it's easy to miss things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, still enjoying it. I'm only about a third of the way through anyway so lots more to go but I am enjoying um, enjoying it so far and lots of cool authors in it as well not sure if there's a particular favorite I, i'm quite enjoying the one i'm on at the moment which is uh, some explorers in the antarctic um i quite liked ab frank's um story as well just because i thought it was it was interesting how much that reflected him as a reader um and his sub is his his interest you know because he's really into um gaslight fantasy and fiction and that very much came across in the story so i thought that was cool but yeah, it's on course for, again, probably another week, four out of five. Um, and then next, I think I'm going to read Little Wizard Stories of Ours by L. Frank Baum. So this is for the buddy read I'm doing with Joel Swagman. Not actually due to start it until next Monday. But the issue is, is that after that, we're back to, I don't really have 
Like everything that's on my list is massive. <laughs> so probably my next one after that will be House Carino by Frank, uh, by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, and that's like 600 pages, so that'll take me the best part of a week. Um, I do actually have downstairs to haul, I should go and get them really, um, a couple of the Mr. Men books for adults as well, which I'm quite excited about after reading so many of the kind of regular ones. Uh, video wise, I have three reviews to film, 3.5 reviews to film, because I can start Local Haunts. And I've got to catch up on my wrap up and do this haul as well. And then I'll do some editing later on. Uh, and I'm currently in a end of the world movie vibe. So I'm watching, well I watched Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels yesterday. Just because I was feeling that. And then at the moment I'm watching 2012. And then I've got the day after tomorrow. I also have the TV series of Alias Grace to watch. I have um, The Addams Family to finish watching. I also need to catch up with my watch later list on YouTube. Um, and I've got a bunch of audiobooks and my bedtime books downloaded that I want to make a start on as well So again, I'm just a bit behind on everything because I've been sleeping and I'm still tired now I don't know. I might stay up to like 2 3 a.m. And then try and get some sleep although I've, I mean have I got a call tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I do Got a call tomorrow at 4 p.m Okay, that's not too bad um, and then I've got a 2 p.m. meeting on Friday plus I'm supposed to catch up with somebody who I was supposed to interview today at 3 p.m. and didn't <sighs> Shit and possibly oh fuck I got possible and probably two other calls tomorrow uh, But I have started this new um, Like way of treating myself, so I have a mulled wine during my calls now, so that's all right. Oh And I've been doing hunter killer as well. I'm on box number two so I've been taking my notes in my very nice Mallory Rock notebook. Got to figure out what time Beth, um, who's the murder victim, what time she went into the water. Um, and this is the necklace they gave me. It says risk taker on it. Um, and there was a, a hidden message on one of the, on this note. Um, what does it say? It said, you're the greatest risk I was willing to take. And this is from a letter from Sam to Joey. Uh, and it had this necklace wrapped up in it that said risk taker and the hidden message saying you're the greatest risk I was willing to take So I've written down. What does that mean? And how did Beth feel was her husband Joey banging Sam? And was that why Sam had to close her store early because she was verbally assaulted? I guess we'll find out as I continue to do the hunter killer boxes um, So for those of you who don't know it's like a mail subscription service where you get a mystery in the post and you get you know, you keep getting sent boxes with more hints and stuff. It's quite cool. I'm enjoying doing it. So that's where I'm at. Oh, and it's the open mic at the art centre on Friday, but I don't know if I'm going to go. We'll see. If I go, I'm going to have to host it and I can't really be asked. Hello, everybody. Oh, I should turn my other light on. It is currently 20 past 8. Oh, hello. It is currently 20 past 8 on Thursday, the 13th of January. I'm still kind of up against it with work. At the moment, actually, it's mostly time stuff that I'm behind on. Um, so I'm down to 10 current client things. I do have a call in a minute. Uh, I got a call at nine, so in 40 minutes. And I've got to be at the art centre tomorrow for some interviews, but that's to take on somebody who's going to take on my job role, so that's not too bad. Uh, Practice some music earlier because it's the art centre open mic tomorrow, so I will probably go there and play. We will see. Um, see how I feel. I'm still reading Served Cold. It's probably it's like a week four out of five, but you know, enjoying it so far. So I'm gonna crack on with that soon. Um, I don't really have much else to say to you because I've just been keeping busy. Um, Semi nocturnal. I think I went to bed at about four or five this morning and got up at like 2 p.m. Um, and I have just made, this is like one of my signature dish dishes, herby spicy peanutty salad. So it's like udon noodles, um, cucumber, spring onions, salted vinegar peanuts, um, and then like a dressing of mint, rice wine vinegar, uh, soy sauce, a little tiny bit of sugar for sweetness. Um, what else went in there? Some other stuff as well, I can't remember. Oh, um... Wall, no, sesame oil, um, yeah, some good stuff, so I'm going to go and eat that now, oh, lemon juice as well, that went in there too, so I'm going to go and eat that now ahead of my call, and then maybe I'll do some filming later, we'll see, I've got a book to haul, um, 
and then I have four reviews to do. Three reviews to do, because I finished one of them. That's not too bad. Oh God, it's now a quarter to nine, and I ate the whole thing in one go. It was so good. Now I need, oh, I need a sit and a vape. I know I have a meeting. I'm too full for it. Before I start eating, I just thought you'd like to see the culinary joy of my Chinese breakfast pancakes. So we got tortilla, warmed tortilla um, with some of this. So this is like hoisin mushrooms. Here's Biggie, he wants some. Uh, got some hoisin sauce, some cucumber and some spring onions. And you just put it on there in your wrap and you wrap it up. Delicious, I'm gonna go eat it. Hello, it is me. It is currently 20 past two on the afternoon of Saturday the 15th of January. Uh, let's see, uh, well Thursday night I, I only got an hour of sleep. Um, I was trying really hard, it was just one of those where I, I spent like eight, nine hours in bed and just didn't manage to fall asleep. It's a little bit of a nightmare to be honest, but um, yeah, then I had, we had some interviews at the Art Centre on Friday because we're interviewing people who potentially take over from my social media management role there, um, which is good because I'm like drowning in work. Um, and then it was the Art Centre open mic in the evening, but I didn't go because I fell asleep. So I fell asleep at about 4pm yesterday, woke up at about 1pm, and I've just been working since. But, you know, that is my life these days, I just work. Um, let's see, what else is that? Uh, there is a gig at the Bellevue tonight that I could go to. Um, a guy called Thomas Heppel, who is going to be... Oh, no. Put my thing on my tripod. Uh, so, uh, there's a guy called Thomas Heppel playing, um, who is going to be the coming up coming up as the, like, the next guest in my uh, radio show. So, I might go and see him, but I probably won't, because I'm already very tired. I mean, I have been up for 13 hours now, so it's coming up to, for me, this is like whatever, like 9, 10 p.m. would be for most people, I guess. Um, oh, I hit a year of not smoking today, so that was good. Um, I have been watching some more YouTube. I finished watching all of the Adams Family that I downloaded, so I, I do still have the day after tomorrow and um, uh, Alias Grace to watch. I've also been listening to the audiobook of this, Grim Tales by Philip Pullman. So, I've listened to Faithful Johannes, and I think I listened to The Twelve Brothers. I did. Um, and so I guess we've got The Three Little Men in the Woods, I think I listened to that as well. So I think I've got Hansel and Gretel next. So yeah, I'm about that far in. Um, the reason I'm listening via an audiobook is because I just couldn't get into reading this. The problem is, is I don't like fairy tales. So Philip Pullman is one of my favourite authors, but even him writing fairy tales, I'm just like, eh. So I've been listening to that a little bit. I'm going to keep on cracking on with that. Um, and I did some editing as well. I'm now back to this point where I've got no space on my Mac, so... I can kind of render out a video, like how am I looking at the moment? I can render out a video and then delete the source files and then kind of repeat. So yeah, at the moment it says I've got 910 megabytes available. And I'm rendering a video that I'm on 60% of. And it's currently 600 megabytes, so I should have just enough space to finish rendering it. And then I can delete the source files. And then kind of rinse and repeat, I guess. Uh, so yeah, cracking on with that. I have some books to update you on. Yes. Right, we have quite a few. So last time I think I updated you, I was just finishing off Served Cold, which I have now finished. So it's a four out of five. I would say like a week four out of five, but that's still a pretty strong rating. Um, and of course, uh, the proceeds go to charity, and it's horror, and it's indie, so there's a lot to like there. I uh, then read um, Trivia on the Bog by unknown slash anonymous there is no author credited for this um, and this is just a bunch of facts basically my mum actually sent this to me as part of a care package that she got me um, and yeah it's just got some stuff like let's see Britney Spears hits have been played by the British Navy in a bid to scare off Somali pirates its security team decided the pirates would hate her tunes the most as they are not partial to Western music apparently uh, three out of five for this. It was just okay. There's some interesting stuff in there, I guess. Um, so I read that. 
I also read Little Wizard Stories of Oz by L. Frank Baum. So this is the latest in the series of Oz buddy reads that I've been doing with Joel, um, Joel Swagman. These are um, short stories that are cut. They're aimed at a younger audience apparently than the other Oz books, but I don't necessarily know about that. They read kind of the same um, in terms of the tone and the way they were written. The only difference was that they were shorter stories. So, you know, this whole, this book here is probably half the length of one of the Oz books and had six stories in it. So it's like each chapter is a story. It also had some uh, cool illustrations and actually this is a really nice little edition. So yeah, I gave this like 3.5 out of five. It was okay. Um, I'm not actually supposed to start reading this until next week. So there is that, um, but yeah, I just wanted to tick that off for reasons that will become clear in a minute. Um, so yeah, we'll be filming a review of that soon, and then yeah, we start our next Oz book after that on Monday, January 31st, um, and by that point it will be the end of the month, so I'll be due to buy myself some new books. Um, then I read some of these Mr. Men books for adults, so the first one here is Mr. Midlife Crisis and Friends, a very unofficial parody by, let's see, this one was, oh, Jack Collier, um, and it's just, you know, about people going through midlife crises, basically, it's an uh, adult take on this kids book series that I've been reading, um, but, and then these ones, basically that is so unofficial, it's not even the, it is unofficial, it's not the official parody, these are the official parodies, written by Sarah Dakin, Lizzie Dakin and Liz Banks, so I read Little Miss Shy Goes Online Dating, Mr Greedy Eats Clean to Get Lean, Little Miss Busy Surviving Motherhood, and Mr Happy and the Office Party, so like this Mr Midlife Crisis or whatever, they couldn't actually use any of the Mr Men characters, um, or the Rip Mr. Men style, whereas in this one they were able to, you know, use the original characters. Uh, the, so these ones were all four out of five. Mr. Midlife Crisis probably a three out of five. Um, but yeah, just entertaining short reads. So I ticked all those off, and over there I'm not going to go and get it, but I'm now reading House Carino by Frank Herb, no Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, which is the third of the uh, June prequels as part of the prequel trilogy. Um, and like the third that, that those two authors worked on together. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it all right so far. Maybe not as much as I enjoyed the other two. The first one was quite good. The second one was really good. This one's just like pretty good. Um, but yeah, I am enjoying them. So that's where I am. And that's going to take me like five days to read because it's 600 pages and quite short and dense. But, um, you know, it is what it is. And I'm going through it. So that is where I'm at so I'm gonna go and do a bit more work I'm puttering about the house I had some problems with my um, washing machine but I seem to have fixed that so that's good um, yeah oh and I went to town earlier as well so yeah it's been, it's been it's been good it's been a productive little day I'm just very tired still even did a face mask yeah now I look beautiful Guten Abend uh, es ist Zwölfe about 12.14pm, uh, uh, I went to bed at about 6pm last night and woke up about 6am, so I guess I needed the sleep. Uh, I'm still reading uh, House Carino, it's still very good, um, not as good as the other two in this little trilogy, but I am still enjoying it. Um, might go and see Sabrina later, I said, because I'm going to make my uh, noodley pasta again, which is, ah, oh, it's so good, noodley pasta, noodley salad, um, but I said I'm I want, I think she should try it because she's my vegan friend, you know, so, um, and I'm vegan in case you, in case I haven't mentioned that. So I might make a little bit spare, go and drop that around, have a cup of tea and play a couple of games of Herbaceous, which is this, um, like board game slash card game that she's got. So might do that if I'm awake later on, we'll see. Um, been doing some houseworky bits as well. I've just spent an hour on hold to Amazon getting they gave me this gift card i got no sorry they didn't my my one of my grandparents gave me this gift card for amazon for christmas and i'll show you if it focuses that's what what happened to it when i scratched the code off so yeah it is not a very effective gift card because if you scratch the code off it also if you scratch the covering of the code off, it also scratches the actual code off. But yeah, anyway, so I spent like an hour on various live chats and phone calls. So the live chat guy kept being like, 
uh, you're welcome for my help and then closing the chat it's like you didn't solve anything mate and then I'd get callbacks from their customer service team that they then just cut me off in the middle of it so yeah it took me an hour to do that where I could have actually earned twice the value of the gift card if I just worked which is what I would have otherwise been doing so that's kind of annoying but hey at least I now have that gift card balance um, and I can go ahead and spend that now um, which is good because I need some more books I'm on 18 owned but unread um, but that includes you know House Carino and my bedtime book which I'm over half well I average out as halfway through each of those I suppose and I've been listening to the Grim Tales by Philip Pullman audiobook so it's conceivable that I'll be on like 15 unread before the end of next week so um, yeah I'm gonna use that gift card I need to order some my next Wizard of Oz books for my buddy read with Joel I'm probably just gonna order them one at a time because otherwise I get tempted just to read them all um, in fact I might not even order the Wizard of Oz we'll see we'll see um, and I need to get a James Herbert book um, because I've got a few that are like series that you know I've got books two and three in the series but not book one um, and I guess I'll order some more of the Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson do, uh, June books, or at least one of them, to continue after House Carino. So that is the plan. Other than that, I don't think I have a great deal to update you on, so I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.